have you guys played Whack-A-Mole before? It is one of my favorite arcade games and today I'm going to teach you how to create this game on scratch. Just a couple of things to set up before we start coding. First of all is the backdrop. For the backdrop, I use the simple backdrop which is available in the library. So if you just choose a backdrop, I use the forest. But of course you can use any one that's available. The next step is to create the tree holes using the circle shape that's available and I just drew it out and colored it with black. Next I'll get the sprites ready. The first sprite that I prepared is the hammer. I used the basic shape to in scratch to draw this and then I also created a Mr. Mo sprite. For Mr. Mo you only need to create one basic one but I thought it would be fun to create you know different faces for Mr. Mo. This is my favorite one, and it's meant to show Mr. Mo as being dizzy once he's hit by the hammer. Let's get started with coding. First, I'll put in the blocker codes such that when the green flag is clicked, I'll have it forever follow my mouse pointer. So the point of this is to have the hammer follow wherever my mouse pointer goes. And then for the next step of the codes, I will want to make it such that whenever I click the space button, the hammer will turn at an angle and then back to its position. So in between, I need to put it a bit of a time so that you will be able to actually see that movement. In this next set of codes, I will make it such that whenever Mr. Mo is hit by the hammer, it will broadcast a message that says, per Mr. Mo. So this broadcast message isn't a literal broadcast that you'll be able to see on screen. The broadcast will actually tell another set of codes that uh, some action needs to be taken when Mr. Mo is hit. Next, I'll try to set some of the most important variables, which are the timer as well as the points. So for the number of points, I'll start with zero. And for the timer, I'll start with about 15 seconds. Next, I created a repeat loop to let my timer count down. Basically, what this set of code does is to wait one second, deduct the timer of value by once until the whole 15 seconds is up and becomes the value of zero. Now, let's get started at creating the code for Mr. Mole. Because Mr. Mo will need to appear simultaneously at various positions, I will create a clone of Mr. Mo when I start. So first, when I start, um, I'll repeat until the timer is up and to continuously create a clone of my cells every few seconds. Now it's time to code for the clones of Mr. Mo. First, I'll need to set the Y position, which is the height of where Mr. Mo is. And I'm currently going to set it as this value. I then want to define the variables of the X position as well as my costume. There are actually going to be three positions. So for the X position, I'm going to set it to pick between position one, two, and three randomly. And for the outfit, I'm going to set it to pit between outfit 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6. I'll need to tell it to select the outfit that was randomly picked earlier. So let's say it was outfit 1, then you will have to change the costume to costume 1. And then I will put a code to say that if my X position was position 1, then the position of my x is at this value. And if, say, my x position is at position 2 and 3, then the actual x position would be this value. Watch how it's easy to duplicate for the second and third once I've done for the first one. It's merely just a copy and paste and then a change of the values. You should move Mr. Mo to the different holes to actually identify what is the x value to use. So you could see that the x value is changing every time I make, move Mr. Mo. Just take note of that value and key it in.
could you see how Mr. Mo is still appearing even though he is down below the hole? So what I'll need to do now is to use the show and hide buttons and then put in some glide motions. So I want Mr. Mo to first show and then he'll glide upwards to the Y positions that I have and then to also glide it back down before it completely hide and get deleted. By the way, I added a few seconds between the glides so that you actually be able to see Mr. Mo stop at the top before he glides back down again. Now I'm going to set what happens when Mr. Mo gets hit. Basically, you remember the code earlier which I said to broadcast a message of poor Mr. Mo. So this is what's going to happen. Uh, it's going to trigger a series of events that includes the changing of costume. Mr. Mo is going to say ouch and the points uh, will increase. So there you go. That's all you need to create a game for Mr. Mo. You can start playing with it. Play with the parameters, play with the timer, have fun and I'll see you next time. Thank you.